I'm here trying to hold Max back because he's already look, look at that, look at that, look at that, isn't it, Maxie? Yeah. Eh? Right, should we have a look around, see what we've got? Alex yeah. is with us as well, so we might even get a bit of camera cameraman duties on today as well. And um, we'll go around and have a look. Tractors, machinery, bygones, and Max is getting excited about hay racks. So, should we check out the hay racks first? Yeah. <laughs> Max is getting excited about creep feeders now. <laughs> he loves a good creep feeder, does Max? As good as our one, Max. It's nice. yeah, it's, quite, it's quite nice. They got a smaller little angle line there, so their lambs don't get the creep delivered to them as close. No. <laughs> what have you found, Maxie? We found something to keep Molly happy. Yeah, horse jumps. Huh? Just clips onto a triangle, not the three point link. Oh, so you got a frame on the front, look. Yeah. So what did you say it was, Maxie? Barley crusher. Yeah. Roller, isn't it? Roller mill. McConnell PA. PA 93, I guess. Is it? Alex knows. Alex knows his machinery. It is 93, there we go. Curl and bale wrapper. See what, mate? That plough looks like some weight for four furrows. Yeah, there's a fair bit of iron in that, isn't there? A lot of that iron in there. Fertiliser spread up. Yeah. Wagtail, or floppy dick as I call them. I've spotted something. What? A baler. What, the bale trailer? No. Oh, single axle bale trailer. That'd suit us, actually. For all 40 bales that we're going to bale. Uh-huh. But we can't bail them, can we? No. So what do you say you spotted? A baler. <laughs> New Holland 377. It is. Look at that, honey. It's the next size up from when we went bailing back in the summer. Yeah, so the next one up from Grand Ole Warren's bailer. And comes with... Comes with baler, eh, look? Yeah. Bailer doesn't look very square on the end, mine. No, it's like that. Yeah. Mmm, what a treat. Definitely have a look at this. Have a pop at it. Got any string with it, Maxie? Yeah. Oh, enough for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about underneath? Any any stored in the bottom? Well, that's just two bits. That's just store up there, and then the ones actually joined on are in there. Ah, mm. look at that, look. Them two are there. empty. Yeah. And two at the top. Nice little baler. Alex, being um, the next door neighbour farmer here, or nearly, said that there's a good baler. He's all right. So, <laughs> we'll be definitely keeping an eye on that. There's a blast from the past, Maxie. Yeah, big baler. New Holland D1000 baler. That would look good behind the 135. Oh, a little finger bar mower, a little sickle, sickle bar mower. Oh, another one there, look. Um, hey? Oh, it's head shimmer, Alex, is it? Two's head trimmer. Yeah. Cool. Look at this, see? See if there's a bell counter up there, Maxie. It's coming up there over there. I walked right past it. That could be, oh no, that's just your trip, not your main one. <laughs> Struggling? Yeah, my arms aren't quite long enough. Ready? Here we go. Up over. Whoa. No. There we go. To be fair, that would look nice behind a 135, wouldn't it? It's Massey Ferguson as well. Behind yeah. the 35. Oh, behind the 30, behind the 35. But when we get it going, Alex, you live in higher hopes than me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, browns bale sledge. Browns? Yeah, browns. A little bale Mini wrap. bale wrapper. Do you load the bales by hand? Yeah. So you put them on by hand. The one I used to have, a little McHale one, you could only put 500 mil rolls of wrap on it. So little tiny ones, where this one you can go 750 mil. I think these used to hold the bales on better than what the little McHale ones did. If I remember rightly, a long time ago I used to do that. Look up, he's in underneath, checking it out. Any good, Mum? Yeah. Yeah? I think it's the newest bit of kit here, isn't it? Uh-huh. The bed isn't bent like our Lely one. Oh, yeah. Are you going to put a bit in? <laughs> Alex, this is a proper Dartmoor turner, this is. Because on these, on well, a lot of tethers, oh. you lift up the sides and the tines stick out that side like that. But because Dartmoor narrow access places or small farms, you can turn them round. So pull the pin out there, Mum. What pin? Turn the pin. pin. Yeah. So pull that up. Alex might have to give you a hand. Got a load of string on it. String around, isn't it? Got a cord. And then you can see as you can go through gateways and narrow places, you can turn them in out of the way. And then when you're ready to go tedding, 
The other side might be easier, maybe, but is it? The one without the bailer cord tied to it. Pull the pin out here, look. That's it. Mind yourself, mind your fingers. No, oh, there we go. Right. Now, you go. spin that round, look. So that's it, spin it right the way around. So now you can get through narrow gateways. Make it much easier to get through a 10 foot gate in these small, and you don't small hit hill the hedges. farms. Hey? And you don't hit the hedges. No, exactly. Dung spread at a time, Maxi. It holds water. Does it? They all tend to do that. Now, I think the best thing that ever happened to a dung spreader is someone to galvanise them. I can't remember which brand that does it. Maybe it is Marshall for a galvanised one, Alex, do they? I can't remember. The one no. at the collective sale we went to the other week, yeah. that little dung spreader was galvanised. Yeah. Well, there. We have been offered a dung spreader, Maxi, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, so one of our subscribers has actually got in contact with us and said that they might have got a dung spreader we'd be able to buy. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing that. What have you got, dude? Flatbed trailer. It's on tiny wheels, so we could buy that set of wheels as well. I don't know. Put them... They'd fit, but no, that's, they're oh. on four-inch centres. They look more like five-inch centres. But, yeah, he'd look quite good behind your quad bike. I think this is more type of dung spreader for us, dude. Yeah. Lid open up or not? Get on, boy. You got it. There you go. No, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Good old Howard. Yeah, actually, to be fair, Alex, I think we've got a pot of Howard paint back in the workshop. <laughs> I, think it is. I think it is actually Howard paint. He's on A Bob now, look. Maxi, what? Is that a 200 series or a 300 series? Three un uh, 300, I think. And how can you tell it's a 300? Because it's got wider wheels like that, whereas the 200 is narrower. Yeah, narrow wheels on a 200. Wide wheels on a 300. It's got spare times as well. Is it? It's quite yeah. handy. We could use that on our 380 hay bob we just uh -huh. bought because that definitely needs some times. Right, try the time max, isn't it? Yep. What have we got here then? A Case 856XL. Hmm. Nice looking tractor. Quite catty, but. And then we've got another case beside it, a case wheel digger. Cool. What old Brutus that is. He's running. Sammy Silver. 100.6. Okay. The tractor we've come to have a look at. Well, the tractor Max has come to have a look at. I think he's got high hopes of me buying it, but. He's got a passenger seat. <laughs> he's got a passenger seat for you to sit on. Oh, right. Oh, I see. I see how this is working. Right. That is as well. Look it's at that. Different. Looks a bit hard. Could have a cushion, I think. Hmm. How's your Ford and reverse shuttle on that? Different. Oh, yeah, just on the. That's quite cool. Yeah. And then press it for neutral in the middle. Mm. We did have a look at one of these last year, didn't we? With the loader on. That was a 110. Oh, it was a 110, yeah, four cylinder, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, this is the 100.6, six meters, six cylinder, I think. It's yeah. the same as Grandad, same cab as Grandad's, or similar cab to Grandad's 90. Like it? Yeah, it's got a radio, it's got aircon. Oh. It's got the same problem as our Sammy. Yeah. Posh, mate. Even the window's open, look. There's another 100.6 beside it with a trimmer loader on it with trimmer headstock, which is Enridge, so nearly identical tractors. One's M this one's Enridge, so 1996 Enridge, Alex? Enridge, yeah. 96. And then that one there is an 03, so that's one of the last ones they made. And then this here is the, well, probably one of the first ones they made. What have we got now, Max? David Brown, 1690. 1690? Yeah. Two-wheel drive. Oh, yeah, 1690, there it is. Well spotted. Yeah. Look at the dinosaur of a tractor, isn't it, eh? Yeah. What's this? 135. Never heard of them. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably about a similar condition to ours, I should think, isn't it? Yeah. Well, the paintwork's paint better, better. better than ours. But the... Similar on the mud guards, though. These have been replaced. These replaced mud guards, they have. You can see it. they're tinnier than the originals. T Rex would be a very early one. It'll be an early one, Alex, you're right. You look quite perky up there, Max. Do I? Oh, I can hear the bell. Let's go. Starting. Right, and then there's a David Brown there, another David Brown there. Let's go and buy some stuff. Yep. Right, so we bought one thing, Max, haven't we? Yep. Quite a small thing, but we'll show you what that is in a bit. And we bid on the horse jumps, but we didn't get them, Max, did we? No. And what are you looking at? These two troughs. Mm. Put on the troughs and Maxie's coming up next. Put your number ready? Yep. <laughs> 50 is the uh, short ones here now. The two of them here, they're going to be there. Sun on 10 away, 10 pound 10, 10, 5. 
Van God, van Bidaf, van Verwidden, van Bidaf, 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 van
and then I bought a little gate which will go with Max's current sheet pens because trying to get those gates is hard work and I think I only paid 20, 18 quid for that. And Max bid on these two ring feeders. How much did you pay for the Max? Uh, 22 pounds for one of them and 20 for the other. That's pretty cheap, I'd say. Because mm -hmm. they are in pristine condition, as new. Hardly any rust on the bottom of them either, so happy with that. And the other thing we bought was this absolute diamond of an Abbey Topper. Well, until you get a little bit closer. Uh, there's some sort of, you know, what's this here? Uh, oh yeah, ooh, holes. Beautiful. But uh, I think I bought it cheap enough to take a risk on it. 80 quid, bargain. Still looks orange. Don't know if it goes around or not, the gearbox and everything all works on it, so that is obviously the crucial point. But as long as it does, then I should be able to flip that for about four, 450. Quite happy. Our first purchase of the day was lot number five, which normally I don't get involved with the real small stuff, but we have got a massive box of tech screws, which have actually been used, but that was a lot of tech screws. So keep us happy for a minute or two. So excited, Monk? Yeah. So this is the first Bailey you've owned. Uh-huh. Well, I used to have a John Deere 346. I wasn't around back then. No, you weren't. You weren't even a twinkle in my eye. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh-huh. Is the a... next size up from Grandad's one? Well, I think it's just the next model on, like the next series on, because oh. this is a 346. Uh, this is a 376. It's very similar, though. Mm. Right, that's us all loaded up, ready to hit the road. We've had a great day here at the sale with Rendell's Auctioneers, Rendell's Rural, is it? That's it. Yeah. Never been to one of their sales before, but they let me bid, so very happy. And yeah, let's um, talk you through all of this and talk you through the baler even more in future videos. So please subscribe, because we've got a hell of a haymaking video coming later in the summer. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.